in this video we're going to focus on how we can create a nice reverse scale on the y-axis as you can see here our y-axis now the number one is at the very top and number four is at the bottom so you can see here this would be for example like a ranking similar like the golden medal should be positioned at the top the silver medal is number two and the bronze medal is number three and finally the fourth position here so let's start to explore how to do this so let's start to explore how we can reverse the y scale values in chart.js so the first thing what we need is we need to go and get our default data so you can find this on chart.js3.com getting started this specific link here and you can find the link as well in the description box scroll down here and then just copy this chunk of code here so we're going to copy this and once we copy this and if you want to understand what this code does make sure you watch this video that explains it all so I'm going to paste this all in here. Once I did that, I'm going to cut out that title and replace this title with our original title. There you are. So now we have this here. And the next thing what I want to do here now is because now we have just a bar chart. I want to convert this into a line chart so we can play around with the axis. So scroll down here and then all we're going to say here as the bar, I'll say here type indicate line. All right, so now we have a line chart. And what I want to do here now is I want to have three different items which we will track as our best sellers. So what I will say here, for example, we have, well, let's copy all of this. I'm going to put in here comma and another comma. So, and then what I want to do is I want to define them. So let's say this one here is banana. And the reason for banana is the yellow. So I want to grab here the yellow value, which is this value here. I'll cut it out, put it in there and put it also in the border the next one can be apple so we have apple and apple is red so i'm going to cut out that or it could be green depending on the type of apple you want all right so we have this here and the next one finally will be well let's say here the red grapes and the red grapes is nice purple so i'm going to grab the purple color which is this color here so i'm going to paste that in there and paste that in there and now if I save this and refresh, all right, so we have three items, but they're still on top of each other. So we're going to now assign the values. However, in this case, what I really want to show is instead of values, and you might say, well, we can show here, if you want to have the best selling, we can show that in numbers. What I want to do now is instead of numbers, just say, for example, which item would get the gold medal, which one would get the silver medal, and which one would get the bronze medal. And that way, you would say number one, two, and three, and the logic needs to reverse this y scale here so let's start to play around with that so for example here we're going to assume uh well we have here best seller of the day banana is number one has the gold medal on tuesday it gets a silver medal and then finally get a third position and then here we go up to two and then back to two three and then finally two next one apple it starts at three and then it will go to well it maintains three and then it goes two and it starts to gradually increase its position one and then here we say two and then here one all right as you just just a disclaimer i'm just making it i'm making this stuff all up so it's all fictional all right so for the red grapes same story position number two because we already got the other two positions and here it jumps up to one and then here it maintains one and then it starts to lose its position going to three three and then here a quick comeback and then sadly enough here it goes back all right save this refresh now we have all of these but as you can see it's still very hard to read them that is correct let's play around with the border width let's make a border width 10 10 and 10 save that there we are so now we get it some somehow better but what i want to do here is I want to remove the point radius here because this has no value in this case. So we're going to say here point radius and this will be equal to zero. And I'm going to duplicate that for each. There we are, and there we are. And of course, we could also put it here in the option so it will automatically put it on all, but I don't want to do that because later on I will just do something fun for this as well. So let's save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have this, but here's the problem. The gold medal is for Apple on the ferry on Sunday should be basically up. As you can see, we need to revert or reverse this scale here because now it looks like 
Apple is not our best selling product or didn't get the gold medal. It was like the grapes was better than Apple, but that's not the case. So as a if you you understand the Olympic logic of gold medal, silver medal, and bronze medal, so we need to do this as well. So let's solve this. So we go in the y axis here, there's a comma here, and then what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to just say very simple reverse. Uh, reverse, not reserve, reverse. And reverse, we set on true. Save this. And the moment we do this, you can see here now what, what is happening. It converts it. And it starts at 1, or at least 1 is considered as the top position. And number 3 is considered the lowest position. But we have an issue. We have the 0 point here, and we have these items here. So let's solve first the items that have no value for us, which is 2.5 or everything else here. So the decimal values. So we're going to say here, in the y-axis, we're going to say ticks. And we're going to say here, precision. And this precision will be 0. Save this. Refresh. All right, so there we have it. Finally here, how do we remove this 0 here? Well, you can see here we have to begin at 0. Let's remove this. Save that. And there we are. So what we could do as well is a final option is basically this. For example, we have another fourth position here. We're going to copy this, we're going to paste that one in there, and it will say here green grapes. And I will just get the green color, the green color. If you want to look for it's the fourth item here. I'll just grab this, it looks just nicer. So I'm going to put it in there, put it in there. Save that. Refresh. Alright, so you have the green grapes. I want to put it number four. And this will be Number four, number four, number four. Now we just put it four here, and then after I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So save that, refresh. All right. So we have to do here something. And one more thing I realized we have to do: we have to offset these items here. And what I mean by offset is basically having some space between you. As you can see here now, our uh, width of our line is quite thick and might hit the legend. You can remove the legend; doesn't matter. Probably would be more logical to remove it here. But that's all right. I'm just going to first offset it. So we call it offset. So what is offset really? It's basically, if we set it on true, save, we will put some space between here and there. Refresh. There we are. And we could even, to make it even nicer, we could remove these grid lines here. So let's do that as well, because that will make it very nice. So grid, and we say uh, display false. Save that as well. Refresh. That looks a bit more better. All right, then I want to focus on this here. So what happened if we have here on the green grapes, sometimes the value of null. What that really means is that we're not able to track it or maybe we have no value for that. That can happen sometimes. Then you have it here, but our point radius is then of course zero and we need to change that. So what we're going to do here is we just put it on 10. There we are. Then we have this here, but this of course is not really matching with this. As you can see here, this is more like that, and this circle here would be very counteractive. So what I'm going to do here is the following. We're going to solve this. All what we're going to do here now is we're going to say here a point style. And then here what I'm going to do is rec or wrote a rec. What happens now if I save this, refresh. Oh, let me just quickly check what's the official term. All right, so the official term is exactly the opposite. Sorry, that is rec wrote. And wrote stands for, for rotation. So basically, I'll save this, and then you will see here, we get this nice rotated item here. And what we can do probably here is remove the border width or set the border width on zero. Save, refresh, and there we are. So as you can see here, we get now this, this square shape that's rotated nicely which matches a bit with the style of our entire chart and this is basically how you can play with it and I guess here what we need to do here in this case is to remove the legends here to make it more consistent but the main focus was basically on creating a nice uh, ranking here as you can see this is now ranking number one number two number three and number four so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you might say well you would like to have like a title on the site here or the title at the bottom for example ranking here or here's something else a description in that case i would highly recommend you 
to look at this specific video on how to add scale titles in Chartjazz that explains it all.